Hi, I'm Ujwal. I'm from India. I'm presenting a film I did a few years back. It's called Special Service, which is revolving around a candlelight vigil which was not allowed by the Indian state. So I've been working with um, the idea of the observational. And uh, for me, the idea of uh, nothingness is very important. For me, the experience of reality is very important. For me, the notion of what Tina Camp refers to as adjacency is very important. Position of adjacency. What, ha what has happened recently in India, since the past 10 years, there's a right government, politically leaning right government, which has manifested itself in the very brutal suppression of any voice of dissent and any voice, critical voice. So, uh, Rohit Vemla was studying in Hyderabad Central University. He was very vocal uh, in this university politics and he was being harassed by the administration due to that. His for a year was stopped, he was not given a money which the family was also relying on and all those things. At one point Rohit decides to kill himself and uh, it's one of the most beautiful things written. I feel it's his uh, suicide letter which is, which is being exhibited here. What happened very interestingly after his death is that there were a series of protests across the country and it sort of fueled this thing. I think you will be able to connect with this feeling when the right becomes so strong then there is, when there is no option then you really protest. So there was this moment in, in the Indian context when a lot of protests are happening after the right government has taken over because the suppression is really hard. So there is no option but to protest. And with Rohit Vemula, it happened a lot. There was a lot of protests across the state, across the country. And uh, there was a huge rally that happened uh, a day before the candlelight vigil, which was around 8,000 or 10,000 people or something in Delhi itself. The state allowed that because it was also that huge. Um, I was taking a filmmaking workshop in a film school which, uh, whose direction department I had set up and I decided to go for this vigil uh, with some friends of mine. I did not go to make a film, I was just part of the candlelight vigil. I ended up recording sounds on a phone, um, some sounds, not a lot, we were all detained. And then for me, this was the way to light the candle which we were not allowed to light on that particular day. And then I shot the film about a few months after the actual vigil. And so for me it was very interesting, like this idea of just spending time with it was collecting all these sounds and videos and clips from various sources, then finding the right candle which took me weeks. The thing is that I find a lot of protest films and protest political filmmaking quite reductive because it's always getting into the arguments in trying to prove yourself correct and I feel that the experience of it or the, rea the, the reality of experience of being in a protest is also important. So for me it is important that it be an invitation to the, to, to the audience, to the person viewing it, that they be with the protest. And I, would, I am rather interested in making films which are demanding this affective productive labor from the audience.